<clears throat> All right, <clears throat> how's everybody doing? I just stepped away for just a second. Krista, how you doing? Gail, Troy, Lexi's on here. Chris's daughter's on here. Linda, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna give everybody a chance to get on here. Okay, on my Facebook phone, Chris, I was not able to <clears throat> figure out if I accidentally blocked somebody, so I'm gonna try, try it again later. And if I did accidentally block somebody, I will get it straight. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> Tasha, good to see you on here. I'm going to start the music. is already on here from Granada. <clears throat> How's, how you doing? Hey man, Jana says she just got through watching War Room. Awesome. <clears throat> Pastor James on here. Rebecca. Adam, how you doing? Crystal Morgan's on here. How many believing for an amazing night tonight? Okay. <clears throat> One of the things, first of all, <clears throat> we don't make any we don't have any copyrights on any music that we're going to be playing in the background. <clears throat> we don't own any copyrights. Uh, we're not an organization. We are a group of men and women. Amen. Wow. Wow, that's cool. So I applied for help for Xmas for kids and today got the presents. It was more than I had expected. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Uh, wow, that's awesome, that's awesome. Last night was, uh, we're, we're just a <clears throat> group of men and women that just share the name Jesus, share the plan of salvation. I was trying to figure out how to do that, and I was not, I don't know why, but I wasn't able to. There's one in particular that I've got to go back and make sure that was not <clears throat> blocked by accident. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey Amen. I'm going to go ahead and we got a lot of people getting on here already. Listen, we have 65. <clears throat> okay. Let me let me share something with y'all. I was talking to Brother Calvin about this. <clears throat> Especially in this season right now. Most, most groups that I am involved in, uh, you send a... You send a, uh, a post, and then it is submitted for approval. Let me tell you what's going on. What's going on? Uh, <clears throat> I received some uh, very, very ugly and hateful individual uh, posts that was sent to me that was attacking the live stream, and also was attacking several of the individuals on here. <clears throat> that I just praise God that it got no farther than me. Uh, it, it was directed at me. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got some people that got on, got in the system uh, that are not who they say they are, and some of them have been, <clears throat> excuse me, removed before some other individuals have been uh, slandered and everything else. So <clears throat> I have asked, and I, I'm asking everybody to be patient, I've asked everybody so that we can protect everybody on here. Uh, I've asked administrators to review the posts and make sure that people are who they say they are. Trust me, y'all do did not want to see some of the things that got sent <clears throat> to me. And I'm just thankful uh, that KT and others got it before it got out everywhere. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, I've had a couple uh, of my friends that even say, well, Mike, was it necessary that my post has to be <clears throat> approved? I said, these ladies don't know that people's accounts have not been hacked. I don't know. Y'all seen what happened a couple Sundays ago, and you seen what happened the other day where these people just viciously <clears throat> went after 
made the administrators and live stream. And, uh, and so KT and Chris and everybody else is trying to make sure. Matter of fact, I know for a fact that somebody attempted to send a virus <clears throat> to me through the computer. Uh, one of the ladies that was home prayer uh, received a friend request of somebody that said they knew me and they needed uh, emergency prayer. And that person wasn't too happy afterwards because the virus destroyed their computer. <clears throat> so uh, KT uh, suggested to give them an opportunity to go through all of this and uh, get the ones out of here that are not who they say they are. And I know that everybody on here does not want their computer <clears throat> hacked and they definitely don't want stuff uh, said about them that's not true. Uh, so... Uh, I think it's the best, <clears throat> yes, Bonnie Livingston said they did that to me. I tell you what, Bonnie, I had a close friend of mine that was just highly upset over this, uh, that they were able to shut their computer down. <clears throat> so so anyway, uh, y'all be patient and understand. Uh, it's not, it, it's to protect each and every one of y'all, okay? Uh, is to protect each and every one of y'all. Trust me. Let me tell you this. That night that uh, that we come under attack, several people, all of the administrators and several other people told me, they said, listen, I've got a feeling that you've got a whole bunch of friend requests that just come in and don't open none of them. And KT uh, basically sent me a message and said, Mike, don't open none of them. Let me, let me look at these. Uh, before you do that because I don't want your computer getting destroyed and lo and behold there was two people that their profile said one thing and it and that wasn't who they were and if I would have probably opened it I probably would have lost everything I had <clears throat> hey man so uh, anyway uh, this is for everybody's uh, good and we're just trying to uh, look out after everybody listen these administrators are amazing women so as uh, we all know, uh, let's, let's let them do what they do uh, best. Uh, God's told me to just keep speaking the word, believing for the cities to be taken, but we have to use wisdom too. Amen? <clears throat> okay, so enough of that. And listen, if you've got any questions on that, just, just inbox one of these ladies. Let, and let me say this. Let me say this. Uh, let, let me say this right here. Me personally. See, even even though I'm the, uh, the, the the founder of the group site, I promise you, I don't have a problem if, if the if the uh, administrators that's helping with this said, well, well, Mike, uh, uh, just to be safe, uh, anything that that uh, <clears throat> that uh, you're wanting to post, let us look. Look, you know, I mean, it's going to work out good. Yes, <clears throat> yes, I did. Let me say this to any of y'all that are feel led of the Lord uh, to help and get more involved. Inbox, inbox one of these uh, administrators and let them know that hey, God's God's really moving me to to be a help. Uh, I'm sure we got a lot of amazing people out here that's wanting to do something to help, and these women have a lot on their plate. I mean, they do, they do a lot. Trust me, they do a lot. They don't only just pray for all these prayer requests, but, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do uh, that people can do, intercessory prayer warriors and so forth, but, but just a lot. If God's telling you to get more involved, uh, reach out to Carissa, to, to KT, to Orlita and Johnny, and just share with them your heart and, and what God's telling you to do. Amen? <clears throat> Amen. These women have, I'm, I'm telling you, I mean, I know this is a lot on me, seven days a week, but I'm going to continue. I'm pressing forward. I'm going to continue to do what God's told me to do. And these ladies have given up and sacrificed so much. Uh, so anybody that wants to jump in there and you feel led of the Lord that you want to help, y'all reach out to them. Y'all reach out to them and pray about this and, and reach out to them and see how you can get plugged in to, to do more than what, what you're even doing. Okay? Amen. Okay, let me say this. I don't want to wait to about a third of the way through. Uh, but first of all, let me pray. And then we're going to go over a couple housekeeping things. Amen. Lord Jesus, 
thank you for this day. This is going to be an amazing time, God. Lord, we're believing for more souls coming into the kingdom. Lord, we're believing for people to testify about their healings. Lord, we're believing for people to be delivered. Lord Jesus, we're believing that your name will be lifted up and you will draw all men unto you. God, it's been a long day, I know, for me and for a lot of other people on here. I know there's people that's tired. Lord, there's a lot. It's just wore out physically, and I understand that. I know how that feels. But God, this is about believing for souls coming into the kingdom, and this is what I'm believing for right now. We're going to see souls coming into the kingdom tonight, and we give you the praise and the glory. Amen. Okay. All right. Let me say this. Hey, buddy. I I seen that, Jason. I seen your inbox. Okay. All right. Listen, I already see some people on here for the first time. Amen. Hey, Faye, how, how are you doing? Faye, let me ask you this. How is, is it Selena or uh, Sister uh, Sister Sandy's daughter-in-law? How is she doing? Every time I see your name, I'm going to ask you how she's doing because you encouraged her to get on a live stream. And she gave her life to Jesus. I just hope she's doing well. Okay. I hope she's doing well. Okay. So anyway, let me say this. You praise Jesus for what you believe that he has done for you. Amen. And let me say this, Kim. I should have probably asked you right away. And if you don't, we'll take care of this right now. If you don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior, we will take care of this right now. Amen. 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 You keep declaring that over your four-year-old. And let me tell you what you're going to find out. David Rogers says, Jesus is my Savior. Amen. Amen. See, that's cool. David didn't even ask for prayer. But he's on here. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Everybody praying for praying for Zoe. Praying for Zoe. Amen. Amen. Keep on messing up in here, angry face, and you're going to get a smiley put on you. Because the Holy Spirit's going to deal with you. Amen. I do sense October. That's cool. It used to be a new age movement. You know what? It used to be in the new age. Now you got in the right age, right? Lois on here still from Granada. Amen. Jennifer Johnson. To, yeah. Amen. Trying to get away. Listen, Kim. Here's how you do it, Kim. You get on here every day. Amen. Cameron. Lord Jesus. Everybody right here. Amen. Everybody on here right now, start interceding for David and for Camry. David, is Camry your is your wife? Listen, here's what I want y'all all to do. Okay? Here's what. Okay. Clarice says, My 19-year-old son is autistic. Let me tell you, I've been seeing God in this season do something amazing for autistic children. Y'all know the story down there in Way Cross, Georgia. Uh, the young boy that was uh, autistic is now taking his Bible uh, to school and reading it every day. The other one was five years old. He come up for prayer, and then he got up with a worship team and, and got one of the microphones and started singing. Y'all know that's not normal, but that's what he did. Okay, so for David and Camry, which I know, listen, be specific in your prayers, and please, everybody know this, there are a lot of people on here, a lot of people on here, I meant family, okay, that's fine, David, for David and his family, everybody be interceding for David and his family, let me tell you, there's a lot of people on here that are interceding, so when you put when you post a prayer request, you best believe there's a lot of people immediately praying. Praying. Not just right now, but people are interceding all through the night. Keep putting it up here. I've got somebody 
that's here that's writing down the ones that say, I need Jesus, give me just a minute and we're going to pray again. Amen? Amen. Wow. Just got told so far. Also praying for my little eight-year-old uh, who is sick. Keep inviting. Keep putting the word out. Uh, so far, there is 28 people that's accepted Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's continue to lift up Katie's dad. Says we need it. Lord Jesus, continue we are continuing to lift up Katie's dad, Lord, for, for total healing. God, we know that you got this in Jesus' name. We are speaking healing, God, over his body. Lord, your word says, yes, my God is greater. My God is stronger. Amen. Lord Jesus, yes, yes, we are believing. We are believing for a breakthrough. God, your word says you do the impossible. And that's exactly what we're believing for. Amen. 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 Praying for Elijah. You know when you're running late and can't find your... Amen. So let me ask you, I've seen a lot of new names on here. And I know when I'm seeing a lot of new names on here, I'm seeing people that need Jesus. Amen. So who on here right now? Keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing. Amen. Who on here right now say that, hey, I need Jesus. Amen. Keep sharing. You know what? Share the scripture verses. Share the praise reports. Yeah. Robert says, I love God. Amen. Share the praise report. Amen. Amen. David says, two stepkids are having trouble living with your dad. Amen. Lord, we pray for all the blended families. Lord, we pray. <clears throat> I know something else is serious too. We pray, we pray for all the families, even for the adopted children, Lord, that's been placed. And, and I know that sometimes we look at it and say, well, you know, look, they're in a better situation than what they found for self earlier. But let me tell you something. There's still the issue, what the Lord has shown me, there's still the issue of sometimes that children feel like, why didn't my mom and dad want me? Amen. Why didn't my dad want me? Amen. Amen. Yeah. None of us, none of us, none of us give up. None of us give up. I know that some of us have been through some, some tragic things. I remember the testimony of the young lady that shared the other day. I hadn't seen her on here tonight yet. But she shared what she'd been through. And, uh, and man, there, there's a lot of people out there that have been through some really, really tough struggles. But like I say, I want to, uh, 
I want to tell you this, that uh, God can get you through anything. Amen. He's a God that does the impossible. The only way we lose is if we give up and we quit. God's not going to quit on us. Amen. Yes, without God our Father, we're nothing. Amen. Let me and let me say this. Let me say this. We fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Barb, here's what I'm going to say to you right now, because I've seen this happen a lot of times where people feel like, and Barb, I'm going to say this to you right now. I know there's times just like right now that you probably feel like, okay, people are, are ganging up on me, but no, they're not. I want you to hear me and I want you to trust me on this, Barb. You know I'm on here seven days a week and you know that I love you and I'm taking this time to speak to you directly. Okay? I'm taking this to speak directly to you right now. I'm coming to, matter of fact, let me say this. Barb, I'm coming against that spirit and those demonic spirits that are tormenting you. And I'm asking in Jesus' name, not asking, I'm declaring in Jesus' name that they leave right now and they leave you alone. Barb, I'm asking you to do this right now because you're the only one that can do this. I'm asking you right now in the midst of what you see darkness, Barb, you see darkness. I'm asking you right now in the midst of what you see as darkness, call out on the name Jesus because he's omnipresent. He's right there in the midst of you and it's like that... everything I, drama I'm sorry that drama everything and and what Jesus is asking you to do Barb is reach out and call on his name and just say Jesus I need you I need you and Barb if you would just constantly just say Jesus I need you Jesus I need you Jesus I need you then the enemy's going to leave you alone. You can't say, Jesus, I need you, and then stop and allow him to come back in. When you say, Jesus, I need you, it's like tug of war, Barb. The line is drawn. The line is drawn in the sand. You're, you're the line. You are the line, line in the sand. And on one side, you got Jesus. On the other side, you got Satan. Satan's sitting here pulling. And what you got to do, because he's saying, come to me. He's telling you nobody loves you. He's telling you everybody's judging you. But then Jesus is saying, nobody's judging you. Come to me. I love you, Barb. I gave my life for you. My blood was shed for you. And here's the key to this. Keep speaking it. The name Jesus. 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 Jesus, and if you keep speaking it over and over and over, the enemy will get the hint, and he will leave you alone. It's the same thing that just like I was sharing with Steph. You know what? If you don't have anything around you that gives you the ability to cut, then it's a whole lot harder to cut if you don't have something that the enemy can convince you to use. And what the enemy's trying to convince you to do right now is to speak death. See, that's why he's using against you. He's using your own tongue to speak doom. And he's using your own tongue to speak death. And you know I'm telling you the truth. You're on here seven days a week. Barb, God's doing an amazing thing in your life. I see it. Everybody sees it. Heaven sees it. And you better believe Satan sees it. So he wants to do what he can to get in your ear. Amen. 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 So here's what I'm telling you. I want to see you. The next time I see your post up, I want to see you saying, I declare Jesus. I declare Jesus. I declare Jesus. Amen. Barb, I'm not giving up on you. And nobody else is giving up on you. You can sit here and tell me, I don't like you, Mike. I'm still not giving up on you. You can even say, I hate you, Mike. And I'm going to say, but I love you, Barb.
burden. And if you sit here and say, Mike, I don't, I don't want to hear it. You know what, Barb? You're on here, and I know deep down you're fighting. That voice in that temple, that voice is crying out saying, help me. And you know what? We're not giving up on you, Barb. We're not giving up on you. God's taking you from a tragedy, and you're going to have an amazing testimony. Amen. Amen. So let me tell you, yes. So Barb, let the Holy Spirit reveal to you. The enemy's the one that's trying to tell you that people are judging you. You know what? Look at all these people that's on here day after day after day after day after day. They're on here because they love you. Amen. Amen. Who else on here needs Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior? Amen. Who on here right now? I know there's others on here. I know there are others on here. Okay, Heather says, my life is on the line. We got a lot of new people on here. Are we going to let pride get in the way? If you're believing for a breakthrough, let me tell you where your breakthrough starts. If you're not where you need to be spiritually, then I'm being real with each and every one of you. I'm just being real. If you are not where you need to be spiritually, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to sit here and say, Mike, will you pray that God will move mildly for a breakthrough for me when the Lord's telling you the greatest miracle is the plan of salvation? So here's what I'm going to say. If you have a need, whatever the need is in your life, get your eyes off your storm. Get your eyes on Jesus Christ. If you get your eyes on Jesus and off of your storm, the first thing he's going to show you is that you need him as Lord and Savior. And then he can meet you in all the other needs, whether you need a healing, whether you need a job. If y'all just look at all these praise reports that's been on here and what God has done, jobs, restoration, healings, deliverance, uh, I mean, salvation. I mean, it's been amazing. Restoration, recreative miracles. Y'all heard me share the story about our youth pastor, she lost a baby and lost her Philippian too. And the doctor said she'd never have a child. She believed by faith that she would. Everybody was praying. The next thing you know, she's pregnant. And they're kind of like, how can she be pregnant? She's missing one of her tubes. But then when they went and they done the test and took the x-rays and everything, they realized that, wow, she got her other Philippian, Philippian tube or whatever it is. Is it Philippian? It is. Philippian. I said Philippian. I'm thinking about Philippians 4.13. Amen. But the thing is, hey, that's amazing. I've been saying Philippian too, but nobody said, hey, Mike, you struggling here medically. But guess what? It don't matter whether it's a Philippian or Philippian or whatever. God gave it, recreated it, and she's getting ready to have a baby. Amen. Amen. Randall says, pray for my wife, Amanda, to get pregnant again. Hey, man, God can do anything. God can do anything. Amen. So listen to all these new people on here. So here's what I'm going to say. Again, if you need Jesus as Lord and Savior. Okay. Heather's saying she's needing money for surgery. Listen, God can do anything. God can do anything. Thing. Amen. He can do anything. So let me ask you, everyone on here, for all of y'all that need, he, he's a healer. He healed my baby. I prayed and prayed. I had him last Friday. God healed him, pulled through the surgery. Amen. Praise God for that ivory. Praise God for that testimony. Amen. Thank you for sharing that, Tanya. Amen. Wow, I like that word too. David Rogers says, okay, let me show you how we make this happen right here, David. Looking for a new church to go to. David, what city, what state, and then somebody on here probably can relate to this that goes to a church in that area. Find you a good Bible-believing church that believes that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. Wow. The Fedora Howard says, I'm new. Okay. Amen. God bless you all, Claudia. Okay, he's real. Yes, he is. David says he's from Rochester, New York. So if anybody's from, yes, Rochester, New York. Melissa, what city, what state are you from? Amen. Amen. We'll help you out. We will help you. We will help try to find you. Now, and let me tell y'all this. We're on here seven days a week, eight o'clock. So guess what? Hopefully for you that are looking for uh, a new church to get involved in, we're going to do what we can. Okay? Randall Bauer says, I'm from Fountain Inn, South Carolina. Amen. Yes, he is a lot of the word. And let me tell you this right here. I don't know where Fountain Inn is compared to here, Randall, but we have home prayer every Friday night here at the house. Amen. Tuning in from the Grand Cayman. Wow. The doors from the Grand Caymans. Wow. Hey, I'm sure my wife would be like, let's go over to the Grand Caymans and uh, live stream. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Tanya, you're welcome to come anytime you want to come to Home Prayer. I know you've been here before. Amen. Amen. So let me say this. Amen. And he did it, Ivory. And he did it. Amen. Yes, he did it. All right. Yeah, I still got a lot of people on here, so who's going to believe right now? Who on here is believing? Clinton, Mississippi, amen. Amen. Wow. Robert, I worked a lot of hours again. You tired? Physically, yep, a little bit tired, Robert, but spiritually, I am excited. Amen. One thing I look forward to is after working 12 to 14 hours a day, is to be able to get on here and tell y'all how amazing Jesus Christ is and to pray with each and every one of you to share the power, the passion, the love of Jesus Christ. To be able to tell y'all how amazing that he is and what I've seen. And let me tell you something. Uh, we're still going to continue to pray for salvation. Oh, yeah, I see that. I'll try not to, Kimberly, I'll try not to yawn. That's a good point. Y'all just hold on a minute. I'm going to get some water. And, and you praise Jesus for what you believe that he has done for you. Amen.